Hello everybody, welcome to this new delivery on the series on Talent data integration with Talent ESP. So today I would like to show you how to set up an API. Uh, of course, it's not going to be a very advanced, extensive API, just um, the basic fundamentals that you might need to build up an API. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing I will going to do is create a route from here. Mm, let's give it a name. Uh, first API. Next, clicking on the board, we're going to use the REST component. The REST component, C REST component, is the door to the world. So. Um, from here, you can define which port to expose, and you can, by adding methods, you can define which type of services um, to expose, which type of verbs. As here, we can consume any, so the API will work with any type of payload I send to it, uh, but we are going to work today with a specifically uh, JSON. So that is pretty much it. Now I can call this API on this endpoint and send anything I want to send, but let's try to do something with whatever I send to it. So next thing I'm going to use is the convert to body. This is basically a um, simple component that will take the payload and pass it through the Java class string and it will just stringify it. So next thing we are going to use a property. Set property is a component that allows to make a property as <laughs> the name already implies um, but it has certain advantages over headers. When you use properties, um, sometimes we need to reset the headers, but uh, the property is as a different um, usage. In this case, I'm going to use a property. So inside the property, I will going to add, um, let's name it. I'm going to call this property prop, and I'm going to use the language um, JSON path must be somewhere json json um expat just sql json json path so json path will be the um expression that we're going to build so to have an idea what i'm planning to do is i'm going to uh set notes yep i'm going to create a simple message a simple json message that contains a name and the label of the name, right? Let's say prop1. So if I call prop1, the route will take um, one direction. If I call with prop2, it will take another path. So once we have this here, um, the property, I'm going to build expression. The expression is quite simple. I just have to say dot name, I suppose. Uh, yep. So, and that's pretty much it uh, up until now. Now I need to see if everything is working so far. It's very important to um, test consistently all the while you're building the application. Just make sure that there's nothing broken so I'm going to print the property dot uh, prop right let's see if we can print at least build and yes now uh, the route is built and is exposing this service. So now we need a way to call this, to trigger it, to see if it is responding. So I have here, um, I like to work with um, 
curl if you have windows you can always download um, git bash and from git bash you can open a session and use curl if no you can always use a postman or soap ui um, there are many utilities uh, which will allow you to do these things so let's double check that i made a post um, mm, i'm using post yes that's correct so it's running now i'm going to trigger my routes so i simply called the route and we see um, the input passing through and it is printing prop2 if I if I call it with prop1 it would print prop1 so far so good so our API is now ready just that it's not making any 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 anything other than exposing an endpoint and taking a message, converting it into string, extracting a parameter out of that string and printing it on the console. What we need to do is take a decision. So there is a component called the C direct. So we're going to use the C direct component in order to make a decision, right? If I double click the C direct, um, um, sorry, we need the C um, recipient actually. The C recipient component is the one that I'm going to use. So the C recipient component can take a property. We can use with simple language. Uh, let's see where's the simple, simple, simple. We can take. Um, direct um, and use the property dot prop which is what I'm defining here so we can we, we, we can tell talent to take this property and direct um, based on the property that is we're taking in we can make a redirection right so if I call property one so my I would like to direct to prop1 if I call with property2 I would like to redirect to prop2 so that could be accounts um, management you name it all the services you can implement this is one single call one single endpoint and depending on based on the content that is sent it can take many um, decisions so if I call uh, prop1 let's just name it, it prop1 oops let's call it prop1 then I go into prop1 and this will just go into prop2 so as for now I'm only going to print we just want to see that it's taking the right direction right I'm not going to implement any more any further logic for the moment as what we want to see is what um, what was the call right and he which will have to print the body right the body will come back to the customer to the client who called the service in the first place so that should be it so you can of course choose which type of transformation to make based on the path that it took as for now we're going to just leave it like that it is just a fundamental basic principle on how to build an application an API with talent so let's call it if I call uh, prop1 it goes in the above path if I call with prop2 it should go on the prop2 path and we see the response right here right 
it is um, setting the body back to the color depending on the path that we trigger it so that's pretty much it hope you enjoy it if you have any questions we can um, expand this application into something bigger thanks for watching bye